Давайте перед вами немножечко опоздали на пять минут. Hey, so do I? Something just came up from you on the screen. Oh, on the screen. Oh, it's a video. Oh, yes. it's telling me that you're doing a live stream, but I probably shouldn't click on that. Uh, no, I think you're on the screen. Yes. Should we introduce? Uh, uh, so we today we have live stream. Today, uh, сегодня мы начинаем свой live stream, и сегодня у нас в гостях J.K. Вы его прекрасно знаете по каналу uh, Алга Питер. Uh, значит, у нас сейчас пока нас смотрят три человека, но я думаю, что присоединятся еще большее количество людей. Давайте немножко я, значит, сделаю небольшое сообщение о Джеки. Oh, please introduce about yourself. Just uh, maybe two or three sentences. Okay, well, before I forget, this is, this is my YouTube channel, and this is my latest um, uh, Dimash cover song. Dimash inspires American to learn Russian. That's that's what I just put up on my uh, YouTube channel. I'm JK Info Artist JK, born in Washington D.C. And Washington D.C. is just a little ways. The White House is about nine miles that way. Okay. Um, and I'm a retired music teacher. I currently am a professional chauffeur, and Dimash started all of this. When I heard Dimash, my world changed. I had to listen three times before I could bring my soul back from heaven. Wow. And I collected myself, and I thank God that I lived long enough to hear a voice like that. That's literally what I experienced when I heard him SOS. About two and a half years ago, just a video on the side, you know how they suggest videos on YouTube. I just clicked on it and I couldn't fathom what I just heard. So I listened again and again, is this real? And after the third time, I'm like, okay, it looks like it's real. And so I did research for a long time, trying to figure out, and I did figure out he his both his parents sing. His mother is a soprano. He grew up listening to mom sing soprano. Ooh, he sang soprano growing up. And so as he got older, he also um, uh, took lessons and got his lower voice. And that's one of the things that uh, sets Dimash apart. He can sing way down here. <clears throat> and he can sing <laughs> way up there and everything in between. And nobody can do it like him. So um, anyway, Dimash did all this. Go ahead. Do you want me to say anything I'm else? Sorry, I need to translate a little bit, okay? Because <laughs> my head is not okay. Uh, uh, Wait, I didn't. Maybe, I, maybe, it's hard to hear you. You can either turn up or okay. get closer. Closer, yeah. closer. Okay. I, I, uh, привет, дорогие друзья. Я немножко переведу то, о чем говорит сейчас наш друг. А почему мы решили сделать лайвстрим? Потому что я думаю, что на канале Алга Питер очень много информации было, но мы сейчас хотим сделать такую живую беседу между вами и нами, чтобы мы знали ваши вопросы, и он мог сразу непосредственно сейчас а, в живой речи а, пообщаться с вами и ответить на ваши вопросы. Итак, а, он представился, он сказал о том, что он а, на самом деле а, был а, преподавателем, преподавателем, пение, а также он мультиинструменталист, он, значит, был преподавателем футбола, то есть он был тренером футбола. Он два года тому назад, его жизнь изменилась, потому что он услышал SOS, песню Димаша Кудайбергена, и с того времени у него появился интерес к Димашу. Он узнал, что такое сопрано высоких нот и попытался петь, спеть, но у него ничего не получилось. В итоге он сейчас занимается исследованием того, что же такое вообще такое явление, как Димаш, социальное явление Димаш. И вот он говорит о том, что у него есть YouTube канал Info Art. Um, okay. И он представляет сейчас в данный момент все то, что стоит у него на полочках. Это его книги. Это your, your box. 
I didn't write that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Наши друзья пишут привет, привет, Астана, Санкт-Петербург. Uh, hello, Maria Sedekbekova, uh, Salim Dears uh, Dimash from Astana. People uh, say you hello. Yes. And hello, Astana. <laughs> And uh, from Almaty and another uh, cities from Almaty. So we start today. It's kind of like will be conversation and the blitz. Blitz, you know, it's like I have question for you, but you answer me very short. Okay. Yes, and then I answer, and then you interpret, right? Exactly. Then you repeat it. Yes. Because, okay. Because only don't me. I don't. Not only me. Not only uh, me, I have uh, not only me, okay, just a question <laughs> for you. I have too many questions for people because people are so excited about you, yourself, yes. Yes, after... Info artist? Yes, because <laughs> you have too many interview in you, YouTube, uh, Allah Peter, with Ivan and Alexander, yes. Yes. All right, can I do a quick... Um, Tour, just show my studio, just real quick, to, to welcome them to my studio. Sure. I'll, I'll see oh, if this works. I'm sorry, I was gonna Fabio Casale say you hello, greetings for, for all. Hey, Fabio. Fabio, hello, Fabio. Fabio. Fabio, Fabio yes. <laughs> Fabio and I, we talked over our commenting, and I, I really, he's really a great musician and songwriter, really enjoy it. Hi, Fabio. I can't see what the I can't see any of the comments, right? Okay. okay. So I'm going to give you a quick stu studio tour. So welcome to the Good Info Cafe. So I call this the Good Info Cafe, and we serve good information. See, so we serve good information. I don't know if we can see it. And then there's my guitars, and there's the Beatles, and there's. NASA from the sky, oh, and NASA. there's my Holy Bible. Here's my 45s. Look at this. These are from 50 years ago. Venus. Wow. These are my collection, both of these. And there's the Ark of the Covenant, and there's my drums. So welcome, everybody. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry about that. You can edit that out later. <laughs> We, uh, Ready. Fa Fabio too. Yes, Fabio. yes, yes. Uh, Fabio with us too. If you maybe I uh, add Fabio now, Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. The more the merrier. Oh, exactly. You you took the words right out of my mouth, JK. <laughs> you have some cool words too. <laughs> I like your jokes. I I love your energy. JK, Thank you. you and you know, Dimash did all this. Amazing. Come on. This is what he does. I love your story. It's it's fantastic. That's why we're all here. <laughs> well, so while you're doing that, I'm an information artist because I write books and I play music and I play drums and I'm a teacher and I have a master's degree in teaching. I have a master of arts in teaching. So to be an information artist, you have to have at least three or more expertise. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you add the dad jokes on there too? You know, you got more dad jokes. I just, and I actually want to tell everybody, and you might have to interpret this, I don't like humor at all. I do not like humor. I'm just kidding. You are JK. <laughs> yes. I'm going to plug in my power here. There we go. Um, so we're waiting for Fabio. I think we're trying to connect with Fabio. Uh, yes, we try, but Fabio not connect with us. Oh, okay. With Fabio. Well, he might call us. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe he just watched from. So Fabio, I my ancestors are from uh, Acre, a town called Acre in Calabria, southern Italy. Oh, oh, he's in uh, Rome, I believe. He's ah, that's Italy. right. He's in Rome. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he's a we're he he's where the you know. The Romans are. We're down in the south of Italy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry we don't connect with uh, our people because I 
okay. Uh, first of all, maybe Kas uh, tell you my first question. Okay. okay. Um, I come let's back. See. Okay. okay. All right. Let's see what uh, questions we have here. You said Dimash has a talent agent in New Jersey. Do you think Dimash will follow the path of the Beatles and Elvis Presley to ascend American music? Um, and then why do you, why do you take these talent singers as an example? And do you see the parallel between Dimash's talents and theirs? Mm -hmm. And I guess the parallel would be Elvis Presley, the Beatles, uh, are the two artists that um, Gennaro is, is using the parallel with. Yeah, um, the answer is yes. So you want it short, right? Yes. Okay, why yes? <laughs> <laughs> explain please much more wait, explain. Oh, how do you say wait how do you say yes in Kazakh? Uh, uh it's like oh, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 okay <laughs> everyone in kazakhstan yeah okay okay <laughs> oh fabio told us three minutes please Okay. Uh, okay. Wait, I call. Yeah, Fabio will be with us in three minutes. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so the question was, do you think that? Yeah. Uh, yes. So, um, and I, as I mentioned on Alga Petersburg, the first time the Beatles were played in America ever was a radio station right behind me, not far away, oh. a couple miles that way. A young girl, fifteen-year-old girl, went to the radio station and said, "Can you play the Beatles?" And they're like, who are the Beatles? This is in October of 19, 1963. Or October, fall, the fall of 63. And the Beatles then were played on that radio station and they released their album early for Christmas and it sold out and then they came in January. So, and they played first in Washington, D.C. The first concert Amazing. the Beatles ever played in America was in D.C. Amazing. Sounds like Fabio's there. Fabio. Fabulous Fabio. 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 Hola. Hello. <laughs> Ciao. How are you? Good. It's hard to hear you. Yes. Can Fabio play his guitar? Fabio. Electric guitar. Fabio, play his guitar. Play your guitar. Wait, we might have a jam station session. Yeah. Here. Yes. <clears throat> wow, this is amazing. <laughs> First line, it starts on the A note, and he probably knows it. He'll be able to play it better than me, by the way. <laughs> Can you play the B with me line? Fabio, play the um from B with me. It starts on the A string. He can probably play it from B with me. I'm still I'm still Okay. <laughs> no problem. Should I play my song that I want Dimash to learn? The Golden Rule. Do you want to? Uh, yes. Um, is it a, a question for me or for uh, Fabio? Yeah, it, uh, he wants. To, can uh, J.K. play the song for Dimash, the Golden Rule? Uh, I want. I want Dimash to do this song someday. Uh, it's. It's a dream. Okay. Did you compose this song? Yes. Wow. Okay. Can I play it? Yes. Why not? Okay. Uh, why? Oh. Why not remind for us? Yes. You're, yeah. you're, Tell you're, Fabio you're, it's in the key of E major. Key of E major. Okay, so uh, maybe let's. Uh, you want to explain that to me? Yeah.
wanna be How do you show that you got what it takes? You got to push it up to reach the golden cover The golden rule Who's gonna rule? Can you hope to reach the dream without the other team? They're the ones that help you challenge yourself us we can walk away with the ones we're supposed to hate. Give your best to others as you have them give their best to you. The golden rule is gonna rule. The golden rule that C sharp minor to A. A song? I was in Rome in 1990 for the World Cup. Oh, really? Oh, wonderful. The, the football, soccer, World Cup. Yeah. It's a beautiful country. Yeah. I saw the, the Shroud of Turin. Oh. The Shroud, you know, the Shroud. Yeah. Anyway, it's in uh, Torino, Italy. Wow. The wow. burial cloth of Jesus. When I was in Italy for the World Cup. Anyway, that's when Pavarotti sang and Placido Domingo, the three tenors. Yes. For the World Cup. Wow, amazing, amazing. Yeah, it's beautiful. The food is fabulous. The people are very nice. Yes. So to finish answering the question, um, what? Here's my answer. Dimash has the potential, the potential, to to be as big as Elvis and the Beatles and Michael Jackson. Hasn't happened yet. But he has the potential for the first time since Michael Jackson. 
So that is she. Are you hearing my answer? Yes. Yes. I, I, I can make it short. He has the potential to do Elvis, Beatles, Michael Jackson. I believe to be a global cultural phenomenon. That's through music, because all those guys are known on five con on all the continents. They know the Beatles, uh, Elvis, and Michael Jackson everywhere in the world. Other stars they don't know everywhere like Justin Timberlake or whatever. But Dimash has the potential to be like them. It just hasn't happened yet. That's pretty short. Yeah, вы, наверное, не поняли, что это я все время отвечаю. Дело в том, что у нас отключается наш чат, и мне приходится постоянно бегать его включать, потому что я не вижу вас. Сейчас увидела, наконец-то, мы же были на связи с Фабио, поэтому я сейчас немножко переведу вам. Значит, вы задали такой вопрос. Скажи нам, пожалуйста, почему ты постоянно говоришь о Битлз и Элвис Пресли? И почему это, ты берешь именно этих талантливых певцов и сравниваешь постоянно с Димашем? Он отвечает, что и Элвис Пресли, и, значит, Битлз, они известны во всем мире. И поэтому он Димаш... Путь Димаша, он практически такой, как у Элвиса Пресли и у Битлз. Вот. Его талант распространяется точно так же по миру, как у Элвиса Пресли и у Битлз. Okay. We have second question. That's very amazing question because... Okay. Let me just, before you answer, let me just show you this real quick. Global cultural phenomenon, I don't know if you can see it. But it's music, movement, dance, um, hair and clothes and trend setting and style and attitude. Those four things is why Elvis and the Beatles and Michael Jackson, they had all of those. So it's not just the music and Dimash has all of those. Okay. Мы, в общем, он говорит о том, что, если вы помните по каналу Алга Питера, значит, это наш... Друг Джейке объяснял, что очень подробно. Вы можете эти объяснения еще раз посмотреть, если вы захотите узнать о том более конкретно, что говорит, о чем говорит Джейке. Вы можете посмотреть эти каналы. Но вот он показывает вот эту таблицу. Почему? Не знаю, потому что он говорит о том, что вот это поэтапное восхождение к популярности этих певцов вот показывает, демонстрирует на этой картинке нам. Вот. I have a question. Oh, look. <laughs> it's the same cup almost. <laughs> Toast to you. My students, my students gave this to me. My ah. students. Смотрите, мы нашли одинаковые бокалы, одинаковые кружки. Здорово. У Каза появился вопрос. I have a follow-up question for you, JK. Uh, what does Dimash need to do to break out in the five continents like you say he has the potential to do? What, what does uh, he, he really do? just has America, North America, Western culture, so parts of Europe. But he's already got it in Asia, South America, I think Australia probably, um, Eastern Europe. So it's really the more uptight part of the world. <laughs> <laughs> the more so, so I wrote I wrote a book about America and I used a pen name that, so it is me but I had I was working for a corporation and I didn't want them to go why did you write a book weren't you working you know and I was I would get up at five in the morning and write this while I was on the road and then go to work so I did do it so that's a book but it's not I don't get any royalty, so I got to get a, a publishing uh, lawyer first before I push it. But I wrote about America, so I know the strengths and the weaknesses of America, just like every person has strengths and weaknesses, every country has strengths and weaknesses, because people like to bash America, and America has done a lot of bad things, but America has done a lot of good, as good as they've done bad. So when I say the uptight culture, <laughs> They're very, um, what's the word? They don't let in others. I mean, they let in the world, but when it comes to, you know, the music business, entertainment, I'm going very long, aren't I? I'll make it fast. The entertainment business, 
it's very tight. And there, and as I said yesterday, my interview with um, an Olga Petersburg, they um, they all know about Dimash. They all, the whole, everyone in the music industry knows about him, but they don't know what to do. Just like Elvis, they're like, "Who's this Elvis? What? What's he? You know, who's this Dimash guy with a, this name from Kazakhstan and he sings opera and pop and rock? What? And he can sing." Things that others can't sing. Yeah. Everybody, any, the, you name the top singer in the world, he's, he's top. But the second best, he can do more than any of them. And it's very intimidating to the entertainment business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a lot. Sorry. В общем-то, знаете, что я сейчас буду переводить очень коротко, для того, чтобы вам было ясно. В таком, но когда я буду делать субтитры, я, конечно, сделаю их полными. Сейчас я расскажу о том, что он сказал. Он говорит о том, что Кас спросил, почему на пять континентов распространяется американская культура, почему это важно э, сначала завоевать сердца американцев, а потом это будет распространяться по всему миру. Потому что, э, значит, Джей Кей объясняет, но Димаш очень понятен всем, всем пяти континентам. Димаш очень понятен э, всем людям. Димаш очень понятен каждому. Поэтому все равно, какой он национальности. Это как Элвис Пресли, как распространение песен, музыки Элвиса Пресли. Элвис Пресли в свое время был известен на весь мир. Точно так же и Димаш известен, становится известным на весь мир. Фабио, uh, I had already said that he was also similar to Steve Wonder. And <laughs> I had already stated that. Um, so to, to dig a little deeper in that question, so what do you think Dimash needs to do to break into the uptight American <laughs> <laughs> I call it the machine. The machine. Because it, it eats up people and spits them out. Once it got what it needs, it spits them out. It did it to Michael Jackson. I mean, he was 50 years old when he died. The, the, um, the, the music machine, the entertainment machine, and um, the culture, the fans, you know, anyway, that's why the Deers, it's so important for the Deers to watch Dimash's back. So what does he need to do? You know, they're doing it. Um, that song, Be With Me, is a good start for trying to get into the American um, Uh, industry and he already MTV. He's won uh, like five or six times, in, five times in a row or four. He's been number one on MTV that plays requests because the deers are so awesome. I was there. Uh, okay, it just gave me a notice about the Zoom doesn't have a time limit. Okay, <laughs> um, I was out there request to Moss. Was that last night? Yeah, last night. Request to Moss. Request to Moss. So my hands are tired too. And we got number one. So um, that's good. Um, uh, what does he need to do? He does need to move here. And he said he's going to at some point. Here's probably the biggest thing that is an opportunity right now. Here's probably the biggest thing. And I said this when uh, in uh, November 1963, right before the Beatles, we had our president assassinated, Kennedy was assassinated, November 22nd, 1963. Mm -hmm. The Beatles came along, and so America was traumatized. The Beatles come along two months later, and for Christmas, they all bought Beatles albums. The Beatles come here. They play Washington, D.C. They play New York at Sullivan Show. They helped bring America out of the assassination. It was horrible. Somebody is going to help bring us out of this man-made plague or man man manipulated plague and who's it going to be it's an opportunity you know whoever does it i think it's the reason why iman beck is that how you say his name the one who got the grammy award mm -hmm. i think because everyone was at home they were sending his video around and sharing it because people were stuck in their houses so The coronavirus, COVID has been horrible, you know, people dying, but also people, because of the economy shutting down, millions dying from starvation in the third world. 
and it's been horrible, but there's a lot of, um, you know, silver linings and opportunities. So whoever can lead us out of this, and I hope it's somebody and Dimash would be similar to the Beatles leading America out of the assassination of their president. So that's a parallel. Yeah. Okay. Параллели он такие приводит с Битлз, да? Интересный параллель. Он говорит, что когда был президент Кеннеди, вот тогда и зарождалось, наверное, творчество Битлз в Америке. Только-только они начинали свою популярность, зарождение популярности в Америке. И в это время, так скажем, ну, как он делает эти параллели, потому что старт Димаша Кудайбергена тоже начался с президентских выборов Байдена, да, так скажем. А еще к тому же он говорит, что американская машина – это такая машина, которая, ну, буквально, если попадешь в эту машину, надо соответствовать соответствовать этой машине, то есть это такая вот, что-то, что они делают, я не могу понять, подождите, что-то, что-то они делают, они принесли, он хочет принести, мой шарик, который мне подарили на день Oh, your birthday was, uh, when? What, was, what was your birthday? It wasn't. It was for that song I did. Oh. Did you see? Did you see the song where the guy, my friend, I sang? Did you see the video yet of of um, this? Uh, no, I have not. I I saw. Yes. All right. So do you remember the part where he hits the real high note? So he, the other singer, he goes. <laughs> And then sing the high note, pretending he's doing the other note. <laughs> but it was just a joke. He hit the note for real. And that's a Dimash note. But we just did that for fun. So that's why I bought it. It's nobody's birthday. <laughs> Although my daughter's birthday is coming up. But anyway. <laughs> so go to here. Go listen to the song. Okay. Um, and uh, all right, so next question, and I'll try to make them shorter. All You're right. doing a great job. By the way, it was uh, Janara's birthday on 29th. 29th, yes. Yeah. It's her birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. 30 years old. That's awesome. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so, um, Jamash's dream is to win a Grammy here in the States. So, one of the things that you recommend is for him to move here. And then uh, he, he already said he was going to. Going so. to okay, yeah. And what what other things uh, should he do once he gets here? Do you think he should uh, hook up with uh, a, Sorry, with you? Yes, with you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Number three question, please. I will teach him about America. Uh -huh. I will teach. I will teach Dimash about America. Okay, please uh, teach uh, teach how to because it's very interesting because I'm sociologist. Very interesting uh, study American society. Yes. Okay. Do you think yes. online concerts are a new form of grabbing the attentions of millions and billions of people? Is this one path to the Grammy? Yeah, it's it's part of. Let's say there's five paths. That's one of them. So Dimash already did the. YouTube uh, path, that's how, you know, YouTube and social media just got him huge around the world. You know, it's one world now. We, we are the human family and we're one world. And so we'll just say here, he did the YouTube social media path. Um, the online concert is a path. Um, and I haven't prepared. I can think of what the other ones are just coming up with it. But um, having a good management company, he's got the one in New Jersey. I don't know much about them. I read about the guy who started it. He seems good. Mm -hmm. They seem a little small, but they do athletes and musicians. Mm -hmm. Do I need to stop? <laughs> I'm sorry. Is it just an interesting question? Because uh, you, you, you talked about YouTube. YouTube, very good. Uh, uh, it's like places for uh, spray some information now, right now. Yes, I, number four, please. Okay. Uh, uh, значит, uh, я, мы спросили вопрос. Вот был онлайн-концерт Димаши Кудайбергена. Это есть тоже одна из частей того, чтобы популяризировать свою деятельность и прийти быстрее к Грэмми. Он говорит, да, 
не только онлайн-концерты, но и стартовая площадка будет YouTube. YouTube – это тоже стартовая площадка для того, чтобы пойти и идти Грэмми. Ага. I'm just showing my drumsticks. These are vintage. They're from a long time ago. Uh, they're very collectible. Interesting. Uh, Janara has a question. What is the concept of Dimashtan for you? Stan is more of an oriental theme. You showed a ball with the drawing of NASA where the land is without borders. So is it Dimashtan or Dimash? <laughs> It is Dimash. Of course. Yeah, Dimash. He, he's yeah. Um, we just joke around, but you know, I have I have this here. I, I can answer that. I can answer it short too. So um, Dimash is patriotic. He loves his country, right? Mm -hmm. So the message is everybody can love their own country. We can love America, and we can still know. What's wrong with America, but we can still love America. Mm -hmm. So this one represents Dimash and being patriotic to your country, love your country. And this represents the world. We're one world. Uh, we are one, I guess, like that song. Okay. <laughs> anyway, this is a picture from NASA. NASA? Yeah, NASA. Um, from, I don't know if you can see it. It's a, it's a, a satellite picture. And so uh, you guys are, yes. uh, <laughs> where is America? Help me. Okay, there we go. You guys are around right here, right? Yes. Yes, around there. Yes. San Francisco? San Francisco, yes. And, and I am, yeah. There is love over here. Did you hear my over here song? <laughs> yeah? Yes, I cried yesterday. Because uh, th this song so emotional, I, I cried, and my children okay, <laughs> asked me, "What you cried, mom?" I don't know why I cried. Oh, and so you saw my family and my history. Oh yes, yes all the pictures. Did. Oh yes, thank you, thank you. Very interesting. It's kind of like story. Yes, about your family. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you much. That's one that he was recorded in a rehearsal, so he hasn't released it yet. And I did it to say, "Come on, Dimash, we want your, we want you to release it." So someday he will. Дорогие друзья, я сейчас спросила, задала такой вопрос: мы часто пользуемся такой концепцией, как Димаш Стан. Но Димаш Стан она довольно узкая концепция. Она относится, наверное, более такое, знаете, название такого более узкого содержания, как восточное содержание Димаш там. Я, я у него спросила, так все-таки концепция Димаш, которая распространяется во всем мире, или концепция Димаш Стан более, наверное, используемая сейчас в отношении Димаш? Он говорит, конечно, просто Димаш. А напишите, пожалуйста, как вы считаете об этом? Что вы считаете об этом? Можете задать свои вопросы. Следующий вопрос. Next, next, next question. I have too many questions. Okay, Janar has another question for you. You said, right. you said all the time that you see the study of Dimash through his work. So you consider Dimash only as a cultural phenomenon? Try to consider Dimash as a social phenomenon. And then you will understand that you cannot limit yourself to studying only the Russian language. It is necessary to comprehend Dimash precisely through the Kazakh language uh, Fabio Casal is already trying to do this. His, he memorized the lyrics of a song by ear, but he's not going to stop there. He's going to come to Kazakhstan personally, get acquainted with Dimash, and maybe his plan is to study Kazakh language, native to Dimash. After all, through language one can learn about culture, society, the mentality of people, and you have the difficult task are you planning to study more deeply why Dimash goes to Grammy with Kazakh language? Is that so? I recommend watching some of my videos, all of them with subtitles in 36 languages of the world. For example, why does Dimash have no songs of the great uh, Abai in his repertoire? Ooh, you told me to be short. Wow. 
Yes, you please. Are they are they trying to tell me what to do? Only God tells me what to do. <laughs> Only God. <laughs> yeah, maybe God's speaking through them. I already said that I want to learn Kazakh, Chinese, and the world's languages. And by the way, the person in the video, Chris Adams, the one who sang with me, he taught me Russian, but he knows languages. So he's going to help me learn other languages. Or he knows the underlying, like Indo-European, and all the different Semitic languages, and all the foundate Latin, the foundational stuff. So I do want to learn, of course. I, I, it, somebody already said that in the comments, and then someone already answered and said, he said he's going to learn Kazakh next. <laughs> <laughs> and I will study. I, I, I don't know about the study part because Dimash is a human being, so I don't want to really study him, but I do want to experience his incredible music and do anything I can to help him. That's, you know, as a deer, I want to watch his back. I know the ups and downs of America, the strengths and the weaknesses, the things that will be problems, the things that will go wonderful. And I just want to help him because, like I said, I thank God. I said, wow, I lived long enough to hear a voice like that because my dad's a singer. He was known as a singing psychiatrist in the Washington, D.C. area. So he's a retired doctor, retired psychiatrist. But he also has a great voice. And I grew up with Pavarotti and Caruso and all the big opera singers. I went to voice lessons with my dad. I studied voice with one of the greatest voice teachers of the 20th century. People that are watching could look him up. His name is Todd Duncan, and I studied with him back in the 90s. And he wanted me to have a professional international singing career. Mm -hmm. But I just met my wife. We got married, had kids, so I became, I was a teacher and a football coach, soccer coach. But now my kids are older, I'm ready to go back to music. <laughs> so um, anyway, for, for Dimash, I want to just help. So, you know, he's not a thing to study, but I know what you mean. I'm studying the phenomenon, and no one has been able to do what he's done since Michael Jackson uh, Beatles and Elvis, people have tried to be the next thing, but no one's really been able to do it since Michael Jackson because of all the um, the attention has been spread out with all, you know, when I was growing up, there were three channels on TV. <laughs> now there's 800, right? So everyone's uh, vying for attention, and that's why it's so amazing that Dimash is already a global star other than America and the West, right? Sorry, that was long. Okay. Uh, в общем, давайте договоримся. Я вам все потом переведу более так подробно. Сейчас я двумя словами скажу. Я задала вопрос. Uh, в общем, культурологическая точка зрения, она более узкая. И с культурологической точки зрения мы можем изучить феномен Димаша очень узко. Я говорю, но, наверное, необходимо изучать именно с социальной точки зрения. Uh, потому что феномен Димаша, он очень большой. Это Он не входит только в рассмотрение значит, того, как зарождалась культура в Америке или как она дальше развивалась в отношении, и как можно эти параллели связать с Димашем. Я говорю, может быть, нужно изучить еще и казахский язык, как это делает Фабио. Он изучает казахский язык через музыку. Он ее слушает и на слух воспринимает, и потом уже производит эту музыку, воспринимая через себя, он поет эту музыку. Но у, Фаб, у Фабио есть еще большая цель. Он будет изучать, конечно, казахский язык. Он хочет поехать в Казахстан и непосредственно встретиться с Димашем. Вот. Я говорю, может быть, надо изучать еще казахский язык. Он согласился, говорит, да. Он говорит, знает только Бог об этом. И на самом деле он согласен с тем, что надо изучать феномен Димаша через язык, через традицию, через культуру. В общем, подробный перевод будет позже. Сейчас, пожалуйста, вот давайте так, как коротко перевела, как могла. Так, хорошо. That, what is, is a diploma? That's my master's, master of arts and teaching degree. Ah. Okay. So I'm showing my, I'm proving everything. <laughs> okay. Number six. Question. Number six. 
in one of the programs, uh, Alga Peter, Peter Bird, you said that Dimash began one of his rock compositions with Dumbra. Although it was supposed to sound like a guitar, were you amazed, delighted, or surprised why Dumbra? Do you like this tool? Why is there no Dumbra among your collection of guitars? Will you master Dumbra as a multi-instrumentalist? So can you communicate with them and tell them my address so they can send me, they can buy me a Dumbra and send it to me? I'll put it in the back right away. <laughs> yes, I want to learn everything. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I will learn any instrument. I can play, I can learn anything. So tell whoever asked that to buy me a Dombra and send it. I'm a retired teacher and a chauffeur. I don't have any money. <laughs> Um, so to, uh, the other part of the question, awesome. The fact that that song starts with a dombra, that line is so cool. And they play it much better than me. <laughs> so it, it, uh, what I did say, this is important for musicians out there. The dombra is an acoustic instrument, and it has natural distortion that makes the fact that they started the song with that brilliant, awesome. I love that they used a dombra and not an electric guitar. I love it. Mm -hmm. Super smart. <laughs> yes, спросила. I translate, okay? Um, uh, я сказала, спросила о том, что как-то в одной из передач J.K. сказал о том, что Дамбра началась э, в одной из роковых композиций Димаша, из рок-песен. Он был очень удивлен, что Димаш применил Дамбру. Я ему задала вопрос. Хорошо, если ты, удив... ты был удивлен или ты был поражен, и... какие были твои эмоции? Он говорит, что я был удивлен, я был, я был в восторге от того, что Дамбра э, применилась. Это было нечто такое особенное, интересное. И я, говорит, хочу сказать, что э, вот он показал, как он немножко так вот сыграл вот эту часть, когда Димаш уже проиграл на Дамбре. Ему это очень понравилось. Он говорит, это очень оригинально, это очень интересно. И я говорю, почему у тебя тогда, скажи, пожалуйста, Джейки, почему у вас нет тогда среди ваших гитар Дамбры? Ты, наверное, вам Дамбру приобрести. А он говорит, я пенсионер. Я Дамбру Приобрести пока не могу, но буду приобретать. <laughs> вот он мне вот так вот, а, значит, а, ответил. А, Фабио, Фабио, а, окей. Okay. <laughs> okay. Another question? Yes. Um... Actually, can I um, say something before you? So I went and donated blood um, just a week ago, and I'm just encouraging people around the world to donate blood, you know, if they're comfortable with giving their blood and giving their information. I understand how some governments aren't always uh, responsible with that information, but if you can give blood, I had COVID in January, two months ago, and I have the antibodies and the plasma that really helps people. So I donated blood because that can help people who get COVID, and I have special because I have the antibodies. So that's why I'm wearing this. That was short. Uh, в общем, он сейчас показал нам свою маечку, футболочку, где он показывает, что он uh, ну, делал такой вот, сдавал кровь, да, для, это как uh, ну, специальная такая программа существует в Америке. И вот видите, он представляет ее, эту программу вот на этой майке. Так, так, давайте, пожалуйста, поактивнее, пишите нам ваши вопросы. Мы здесь не просто так... Значит, сидим, и JK отвечает только на мои вопросы. Я хотела бы, чтобы вы тоже активно писали ваши вопросы. Пожалуйста, я знаю, что они у вас есть. Пожалуйста, пишите ваши вопросы. Следующий вопрос. Another question for you, JK. You said that Dimash is creative 
uh, creativity plus academic knowledge. Does this not mean that Dimash is carefully preparing for the performance of a new song? Is he a researcher? Uh, is he, is he not? For example, Autumn Strong. Uh, don't you think that all singers need to make it a rule to study the song, the history of the creation, the words, preferably without an accent, the creativity of people in which the song will be, and much more than go on stage? Yeah, so, um, you know, singers, performers can do it in a lot of different ways. I like to, if I'm doing a new song, I like to look at all the various um, performances to then eventually make it my own so I don't sound exactly like others. So, yeah, I, I think that's a great thing, and that is Dimash. Dimash is smart. He's academic. The main point I made about the academic is that sets him apart from Elvis, the Beatles, and Michael Jackson. He already has a master's degree. He's going to pass me by and get his PhD like you. Yes, you know about so, me. You have information about me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured you had a PhD, right? I figured. Yeah, with sociologist, probably. Yes, I am sociologist, yes, a PhD. Yeah. So that is the two, maybe three biggest things that set Dimash apart. Once again, he has potential to do what those greats have done. He hasn't done it yet. Is he's academic, and that's very rare for someone who is talented, creative, and academic. Very unusual. I did get my undergraduate degree in popular music in American culture, so I did study popular music and create it and perform it, all that. So that's why I relate to Dimash. I'm sure that's one of the reasons, but he is academic and super creative. Be With Me is super creative. It has... The structure of that song is very, very sophisticated. His structure has seven distinct parts, four big parts, but then seven. Anyway, that's – so to answer that person, it's really cool that Dimash does that. Not everyone has to do that, um, but Dimash does it, and look what he's done. He reaches people's soul because he becomes the song. He means that he's lost in the song, like sinful passion. He's in that song. He feels in the big picture, not just that song. He feels the pain and joy of the world and then brings it back to us. So it's a feedback loop. He feels the pain like Michael Jackson felt the pain of the world and the joy. You know, Michael uh, Dimash feels the pain and joy of the world, puts it in his songs, and we know he's He's being that. He's feeling the pain like Autumn Strong. That's, you know, that song is so sad and all that. Okay. I'm shortening it. <laughs> yes. Я спросила о том, что вот вы сказали в одной из передач в Алгапите, что Димаш не только академик, он вот видите, показывает так, он не только певец, он еще и знает у него большие академические знания. И я говорю, что, ну, наверное, каждый певец, как э, Димаш, должен быть исследователем. Он должен, прежде чем готовить, э, готовиться к премьере песни, он должен э, изучить историю песни, он должен э, изучить э, сложные слова, э, так, чтобы петь без акцента и так далее. Э, у нас у Машего Каза аллергия, поэтому он периодически отходит, чихает. Ну, то есть аллергия очень жарко у нас, поэтому сейчас цветение вовсю. Так вот, я продолжу. И вот Джейки говорит о Be With Me. Песня как раз она говорит о том, что он как Майкл Джексон, как Элвис Пресли, как Битлз готовились. You know Russia? Лебеди, Суан, это все, что В общем, они, он, он как, значит, эти великие певцы готовились к своей популярности. Они готовились, они как исследователи, они изучали, прежде чем выйти на рынок, изучили музыкальный рынок, и потом уже вышли на этот рынок. Вот поэтому, значит, возник такой вопрос у меня. 
к Джеки. И вот он ответил, что, конечно же, чтобы иметь большую популярность, надо быть, иметь академические знания. И эти академические знания Димаш имеет. This is a Dumbek from Turkey. Ah. So, I, can I play a little bit? I just make it up. I don't play the Dumbek, but... Yes, this is a style, Turkish style. Yes, Dumbek. Yes, because Turkish style is close to Kazakh style too, very close. I went to Turkey, I think I mentioned, when, yeah, when I, um, with uh, th this guy and I wrote this book. Oh. Um, so I wrote this with him and um, I went to Turkey in 2013 to give a talk on information literacy, on uh, information literacy. And... Um, And I went to uh, Ephesus. Uh-huh. Ephesus. Yes. Yes. And uh, and also I went to I went to um, Cappadocia and got this in Cappadocia. Oh good. Yeah. A nice gentleman mm -hmm. uh, gave that to me and I gave him money. And um, so anyway, yeah, Turkey, I I know people there from academic world. Uh, From information literacy, uh, information science. Okay, interesting. Uh, you know, Turkish style. Uh, you mean uh, you've been uh, Istanbul? Yeah, Istanbul. I, I gave a speech, a talk oh, about okay. information, critical thinking, information literacy. Uh, я спросила, about how to think. Я спросила о том, что оказывается, вернее. Он нас проинформировал, Джеки, о том, что он был в Турции, в Стамбуле, и вот он занимался критическим знанием, и вот там, в Стамбуле, у него была такая вот практика общения с людьми, и оттуда вот она не... Вот здесь, 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 <laughs> This one I forget what it's called. From Turkey too? The singer in the song, Chris Adams, he gave me this. Oh. I don't think he knows he gave it to me. I just have it. <laughs> okay, All right, next question. All right, next question. Uh, we listen I'll make it short. We listened to three of your compositions which you recommended to us to pay attention to. These three compositions correspond to the genre, the style of Dimash. What was your inspiration when you wrote these songs? Oh. So, um, did you li so you listened to The Golden Rule and Two Broken Wings? Yes. And what else? Over, uh, over, over. That's Dimash. That's Dimash's song. Oh, interesting. Uh -huh. You want to look that one up because he was at a rehearsal and someone just recorded it. You can't see him. He's off. But you see the piano player and they're practicing this new song and it got recorded and put on the Internet. And um, it's really hard to sing the Moss songs, right? Yes. Not many people can. And so that's why I got my friend Chris Adams to sing with me. And so we sang Tired Swans because Chris hit the high notes. Well, over here, only had two octaves, which is still a lot. So I'm like, I can sing that one. So that's why I sang it. I could sing two octaves mm -hmm. and then um, want to encourage Dimash to release over here, but it's already been changed by the songwriters and it has a different name. And some people got mad at me. You can't record that. Dimash hasn't done that yet. <laughs> I'm like, I just like the song, and why, why is the problem? You know, he can do it much better than me, and who's going to listen to my song? So it just was wanting to give back, and it's such a beautiful song. So over here is by Walter Asina. Walter, ah, I'm going to say it wrong. He's born in Russia, but he's American, yes, Walter, in America. Um, and Flavian. Uh, 
and uh, another person. There are three songwriters who wrote that. So my song, or do you want to explain that one, or do you want me to tell about my song? Yes, please uh, explain your song. The I Golden know. Rule, I wrote a while ago, but then when I have learned about Dimash, I'm like, that'd be a cool song for Dimash. So I wrote that about the Golden Rule. You know, some people say, he who has the gold makes all the rules. And I kind of put it out there as a question and say, what's the golden rule? Who's going to rule the golden rule? Or is the golden rule, love others as you'd have them love you? And that's my perspective. So that's why I wrote that. And it's about competition. Since you can't compete, if there's no one to beat, how do you show that you got what it takes? Or um, must we cooperate with the ones we're supposed to hate? So, you know, you're competing, and there was another so football soccer team that we played against. And we, you get all riled up, and here comes the competition. And the one day we went there, and they didn't show up. And that was worse. You know, here we are. We're competing, and we, you know, you are the bad guy. And then they didn't show up, and it's even worse because we couldn't get out on the field and compete. So since you can't compete, if there's no one to beat. Mm -hmm. So that's where that was from. And then the other one, Two Broken Wings, is really describing uh, – Two Broken Wings, I wrote, I started writing it when I dropped off a passenger who, it was late at night, like two in the morning, and she was a millionaire, and she had a huge house, I mean, yet she really gave me personal information about her past. And then it came time to drop her off, and I'm like, I didn't tell her anything about me. If I was to tell about me and my wife, what would I say to her and be honest? Because she was really honest. She was a... Um, Wall Street um, speculator making millions. Anyway, really nice person. And so I wrote this song that really describes my me and my wife, <laughs> Two Broken Wings. And so does uh, okay. Love of Tired Swans is about swans married for life, but they're tired. Mm -hmm. And one of them misses it. So that's about my life. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I explained maybe a little bit like short, okay, for people. Yes. Okay. Uh, but af but after that I no but after that it will be very good uh, subtitles after that because uh, you know why <laughs> I, when you guys do subtitles you'll put them on yes after that I put uh, subtitles very good very quality subtitles but now it's just uh, short uh, uh, explain for people okay you want to see a picture of me without my hat okay <laughs> oh. I'm bald. Он очень показал фотографию, да, вы видите? Он говорит, я, я, говорит, без волос лысый. Я говорю, ну, ничего, хорошо. В общем, он рассказывает о двух своих песнях. Я говорю, что вчера у нас был разговор о том, что мы вообще, в общем, познакомились вчера. И он <coughs> предложил нам посмотреть три песни его. Это... Значит, золотые правила, сломанные крылья. И третья песня, он сказал, что это вообще песня Димаша, он просто взял и сделал кавер на нее. И вот он говорит, что я говорю, а чем вы были одухотворены? Что вас, значит, ну, настроило на то, чтобы такие песни написали? И он говорит, ну, он рассказывает немножко о своих жизненных ситуациях. Не забудьте, пожалуйста, потом обязательно посмотрите, у нас обязательно будут субтитры, и вы посмотрите точный перевод. Next, next question. Can I show you something real, another thing real quick? Yes. All right. So, is that upside down? Uh, yes, it is. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone get on your head. All right, that's Jerusalem, right there. Jerusalem, Jerusalem Old yes. City Jerusalem yes. in, in Israel. Mm -hmm. Jerusalem. Yes, we see. I have a birthmark in the shape of Old City Jerusalem. Oh. Right there, right there. On my knee, a birthmark. That's my birthmark. Old City Jerusalem. Wow. I don't know. I was born with it. Um, Dimash needs a, a live audience. 
Please explain the meaning of these words. Do you understand the question? Oh. Is it, is it, is it, is it, it's a next question for you. Okay, next question is, Dimash needs a live audience. Please explain the meaning of these words. Oh, just he, just anybody. Performers feed off the audience, that's all. And, and, and you know, when I saw he put out a video of him on the stage, I think he re-sang Golden, the song Golden. And he was just on this, he just did, he just released it like two weeks ago. Uh, you mean Golden? I like Golden, uh, several um, different type of uh, Golden. Video, yeah. video version, version is like concert. I like Golden because Golden is kind of American style. Yeah. And he, um, then he did one where he was on stage and maybe they referred to, I made a comment, he looked lonely. You know, it was a great performance, but, and it was beautiful scenery, but just singing up there by himself without a band, without anything, it looked lonely. Maybe that's what they're referring to. But any performer likes feed, most performers feed off of the energy of the live audience. That's all that means, if, if they were quoting me, yeah. Я спросила, что как-то он говорил о том, что Димаш предпочитает живую аудиторию, петь перед живой аудиторией. Как понять вас? Он говорит о том, что да, на самом деле, когда жива аудитория, тогда Димаш видит э, и как бы общается со своей живой аудиторией. Так, следующий, next question. Uh, fantastic rap. These are your words. Uh, what is the highlight of Dimash's rap? Why am I focusing now? In one of the videos of Kazakh composers of Dimash's songs, he says that Dimash asked him to create a cool R&B song. Does this mean that Dimash is going to master Grammy with R&B composition? Not necessarily. He's just, he can do opera, pop, rock, Kazakh music, R&B. You know, he's doing more R&B. Anything that he is interested in, he has the musical ability to do it. So R&B is not necessarily the answer. It's just that as a creative person, you get excited about the new thing. So his new thing was R&B. So he's going to do that. He already did it with um, Give Me Your Love. Give me your love, me love, whatever, how that goes. Yes. Um, and by the way, there's a band called Cool in the Gang in America, Cool in the Gang. I know them. I drove them last year, and I told them about Dimash. And they were impressed. So they learned about Dimash from me. Anyway, so um, uh, anyway, he can come, he can go different. What the Deers want is for him to keep his style, his standards, and not change for just America. Mm -hmm. But he likes R&B, and so he's going to do R&B. He likes it. When you say but he's not going to do something else that he doesn't like. Right, like you have to do electronica or I don't know, do all do anything. Anyway, just his path could be different. It doesn't have to be R and B. It could be whatever he chooses. Just to clarify, when you say deer, what do you mean by deer? Oh, the his fans. His Ben. His Ben. No, his fans. His, his fans. Oh, fans. Followers. Okay. Deers, his deers. followers. <laughs> are called deers. Hi, deer. Hi, hello, deers. Well, if you're I, a deer, I just thought of say, wait. All the deers out there, wave to cause. Uh, I just thought of a cool and gang, cool and the gang uh, song, a summer madness. Awesome! I I drove them and saw their concert. They signed things. A uh, cool Robert is his name, but his name is cool. Cool, great guy. I drove him home. I drove him up to New Jersey. Wow! And uh. <clears throat> And his brother just passed away within the last year. Mm. So those two and another guy, three people founded, they started Cool in the Gang. And Robert's brother just passed away. So God rest his soul. And he was a nice guy, too. He was quiet. But anyway, I'm so glad you guys know Cool in the Gang. <laughs> yes. Because also Be With Me has horns in it, like Cool in the Gang, and like Earth, Wind, and Fire. Plus, I'll say two more things. There's a little bit of Britney Spears in the chromatic part. Of Be With Me and a little bit of uh, Prince, a little Prince in there. And that shows it's Dimash's, meaning it's got Michael Jackson, Quincy Jones, um, Stevie Wonder, um, Cool in the Gang, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Britney Spears, Prince, 
So it's him. He, you know, you borrow, you use, whatever. You honor others before you. So I, I saw this song maybe uh, Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye? That's kind Heard of... Heard it yes. through the grapevine. Yes, why not? Yes, that's style Marvin Gaye too. What's going on? What's going on, yes. What's going on? What's going on? Yes, Marcy, yeah, Marcy. Classic, classic songs. Yeah, Mercy, he's awesome. Mercy. He's soul singer. They say soul. Yes. He's a soul uh, singer. You know, as a Dimash soul singer too, kind of. Uh, <coughs> Be With Me uh, has a, a little bit soul, kind of soul too, yes? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a pop rock song with a heavy R&B influence, rhythm and blues, but pop rock. It's, it's pop rock with R&B the biggest, a little bit of um, soul, a little bit of other influences. Mm -hmm. um, funk, funk, he's got funk in there. So pop, a pop rock song, pop, really, more pop, funk. Mm -hmm. Pop funk song with R&B. Anyway, it, it's very cool, very exciting. Um, when I first heard it, I loved it right away. Um, but he can do all kinds of songs. So we don't know what's going to end up with, at the Grammy. Who knows? He could do a, a movie theme song and that could do it, you know, or whatever. So, uh, we, 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 we told about uh, Marvin, Marvin Gaye. Why? Because, uh, two days ago was birthday and uh, second, uh, first of all, and second of all, this, uh, Grammy start, uh, since song Marvin Gaye. Have you have you seen uh, Grammy this year? Oh, the the last one. Yes, last one. Yeah, I, I did see. I couldn't watch all of it. <laughs> I could not stay uh, and I, watch all I of it. I recommend you uh, watch uh, uh, that uh, Grammy uh, beginning? Uh, beginning. Yes. Okay. Now I'll have to go back and watch. I watched. I started watching it, and then I just couldn't because there's so much bad crap. But about ten percent was good. From my perspective, ten percent. And so, so Dimash wants to win a Grammy. That's why the Deers are helping him. The Grammys are not not. It's important to make it into America. If he wins a Grammy, that'll really help. But the Grammys is about eight, ten percent good. Okay. Uh, when Dimash is not the piano, do you you admire it, and why? I'm so glad they asked that question. I can make this short. Dimash is awesome at the piano. And not that he listens to me, <laughs> but it's fun to talk about Dimash. He's young. So this is exciting, right? We already know he hasn't gone all the way and we want to help him. If he got at the piano and did a piano song and did it the whole time, just him and the piano, there's a symbiosis between a human and a musical instrument. It's powerful. Mm -hmm. And two examples are Elton John. When Elton John's at the piano, it's powerful. And then a guy named Keith Green, who's in the Christian music world, he, he passed away in the 80s. He has a song called the Easter Song that is so powerful. It's a perfect example of a human and their instrument. And when you get going on the piano, you do things you wouldn't do if you were just singing and someone else was playing the piano. So I would highly encourage Dimash to get in there, do a piano song. You know, Billy Joel, Piano Man. Yes, when you're at yeah. the piano, mm -hmm. it's the same if you're playing guitar, mm -hmm. Jimi Hendrix, singing and playing. But piano, if he got, because he's a really good piano player, he's probably, that's an instrument mm -hmm. after singing. Mm -hmm. Piano is his next best instrument, and Dombra. But Dombra is not as good to sing along with. Mm -hmm. But piano, sing along. And drums, I could teach you some things about drums. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. um, you admire the professionalism of the musician in Dimash's team. You say he has a cool instruments, like the Gibson guitar, for example. This suggests that Dimash's music has excellent sound. Uh, the musicians, yes. The instruments, yes. Dimash as the leader, inspiring all around him, all yeses. They're they're great. 
Я спросила Димаш, когда выступает, он применяет высокого качества инструменты. Например, значит, гитара от бренд, бренд Gibson. Я говорю, это он старается идти к лучшему звуку, к лучшему звучанию. Он говорит, да, все прекрасно, инструменты, и сами постановки, и голос, все прекрасно, Димаши. Так, да, то он отлучился. О, oh, huge, that's huge guitar. You're right, it is. It's as big as, pretty much as big as it gets. It's 17 inch. This is called the bout. And it's 17 inch bout. This guitar. Сейчас нам демонстрируют большую гитару. This is called the gut guitar. The gut, G U T. Because I play from the gut. You play from the gut. Ah, And it was left to me by my great uncle Tony. G U T. Great uncle Tony. Gut guitar. Gut guitar. Okay. Maybe we, we listen a little bit. Uh, how. Uh, that's a Gibson. That's Gibson, yes? Yes. Ah, that's Gibson. What on a Can you play a little bit of. Can you play a little bit? Yeah. So, um, I. Uh, Maybe, maybe. Uh, there, I just want you to know, there is a drawing that maybe you've seen it when when Dimash was about three or four years old. Have you seen the drawing where you draw musical instruments? Uh, what is? When uh, Dimash was young, he drew a musical instrument. He drew um like a microphone and amplifiers, and he drew a guitar, and it looks like that. Ah, okay. It looks, it has these F holes, which is like from a violin and a cello. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I will play a, um, uh, she, can I play a non-original? Of course. <laughs> Straight and stronger course to the corner of your eye. Make the white queen run so fast, she hasn't got time to make you wild. Because it's time and time and time to go down to the news. It's captured for the queen to Move me on to any black square. Use me anytime you want. Just remember that the goal is for us all to capture all we want anywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't surround yourself with your self. Move on back to square. Take an instant counter to me. Initially, we love again. You're so Cause it's time, it's time, it's time to go down to the news. It's captured. All the queen to use. Thank you. Fabio, Fabio, what do you think Fabio is saying? Fabio just commented, he says, please send that guitar to Italy. <laughs> Tell him I want to play the drums in his studio. Ah, did you hear tell him, tell him, I Fabio. want to play the drum. Fabio, JK wants to play the drums in your studio. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I think we're so, setting up a, a little um, jam session. Music, yeah, yeah jam yeah, session. That's right. So Bobby will be very interested to know that was left to me by my great uncle. He originally bought it in 1938. Wow. That's a natural finish Gibson L5, 1938, wow. in almost mint condition. It's a museum piece, wow. but you got to play it too. Yeah, it's beautiful. It sounds it sounds fantastic. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sounds very good. Yeah. And, and so you can tell Fabio if he's listening. The other guitar in the song that me and, that we just did the um, the Dimash cover song, the guitar that Chris plays. The other guy at the beginning of the song is also a Gibson L5 from 1963. So two incredible vintage guitars. <laughs> Amazing. Fabio, it will be there soon, I hope. It'll be where? I, it, oh, then I play I the drums. Be there soon. You'll be there soon. Then, yes. Yeah. I'll go to Rome. <laughs> and Dimash is going to lead us out of this plague, this pandemic. Динара Айтиева наша пишет, значит, Динара Айтиева, мы очень хорошо знаем, наш постоянный слушатель, наш подписчик, она пишет, значит, GK донор, да, значит, GK донор, окей, дальше, Ада Лил пишет, famous being Димаш, Дест, Ноэ, Леон, Мексико, hi, Ада Лил, Hi, hi. Natalia Panamarova pisze to write to him in Spanish. It uh, will be very beautiful. Okay. Aina Gul Kushkinbaeva, Fabio pisze to na. Хорошо. Kto z nami jeszcze? Napiszcie, пожалуйста, żebyśmy my znali. Dagmar Sushsero pisze super. Oh, good. Adimi, привет. Привет, Adimi. Okay. And next question. Next question. Um, <clears throat> well, Dimash's team never signs contracts. Why such a well-coordinated work? Uh, maybe this is just that Dimash's parents invest in Dimash as much as possible uh, what they own, gently pass on their craft to their children, and most importantly, they know all the intricacies of show business. Is this a family business? I don't know, but um, <laughs> I don't know the inner workings, but the fact that they don't sign contracts is good. Now, I'm sure in America, they had to sign contracts with the uh, talent agency in China. I know they did. I'm sure they did here at some level, but um, it's uh, Dimash's parents are an inspiration to us parents around the world. Mm -hmm. You know, when you see Dimash. Mm -hmm. He, they did a great job. And with his brother and sister, it's just awesome to see. And the grandparents and the big family, it is a beautiful example for the world. Like the Holy Family was a great example for the world. That's, with Joseph and Miriam and that's Yeshua. That's kind of brand. Yes, that's kind of brand uh, of uh, Dimash. as a very good brand. Yes, yes. Wholesome. Family. Yes. And, um... Yeah. So, fantastic. Uh, you know, here's just a thought that's kind of related. You know how Dimash is about, he's going to start to get his PhD. Have you heard that? His thesis? Yes, I hear. Yes, about that. Uh -huh. All right. My advice to him, <laughs> he doesn't know me. He doesn't listen to me. They got a great, their team is awesome. They don't need me, but, well, maybe they do. But um, he should get an MBA instead of getting his PhD and then get a PhD later. He should get a master's of business administration. He should go learn the business side. Oh, why? Business Did side of his music? American, he called it the, um, the epicenter of world show business is America. And it is, New York, LA, Nashville. Um, he called it the epicenter of global or world show business. The business is cutthroat. It is so 
bad in so many ways. So much bad stuff. Mm -hmm. And they take advantage. Now, he's got his dad. He's got a team around him. But he's such an academic. I think he would enjoy learning business. Learn MBA. You know, because he can still do his career and do it online and do it however he's been doing it. Mm -hmm. I think he should do the MBA before he gets his PhD. He should still get his PhD. I think he might be doing it in composition, which is smart. Because I would love, I've thought of Dimash writing instrumentals mm -hmm. and getting up there and being the conductor. <laughs> we all have our fantasies about, you know, his future. He, whatever he wants to do, I will follow. <laughs> but that was just a thought that came to me. If he understood the business side too, which he has people around him, but sometimes even the people around you, you look at American history of these musicians, their managers <clears throat> messed them over. Their managers took money. Not his dad is awesome. His dad is his manager, but you know, they just hired a um, talent agency and they'll hire others. They can start doing stuff. But if he, he's smart, he doesn't have to do it, but I just, Put that out there. Okay, interesting. Yes, thank you. Я немножко объясню, что он предлагает вообще Димашу. Я спросила, значит, такой вопрос задала ему. Димаш не имеет контрактов, но такое ощущение, что он готовился всю жизнь быть артистом, певцом. И его команда, она очень сильно состоящая из его родителей. Я говорю, это как семейный бизнес получается. Он говорит, да, это замечательно, что он не имеет контрактов, и это хорошо, что вот такой вот они создали семейный бизнес и даже предлагают, может быть, Димашу подучиться в MBA, чтобы побольше знать о маркетинге, о рынке, о продажах. И поэтому вот он говорит о том, что надо учиться этому, потому что это пригодится, потому что он знает, в принципе, что у Димаши достаточно образования для того, чтобы быть певцом, но необходимо еще быть хорошим специалистом в области рынка, потому что музыка, шоу-бизнес – это большая, так скажем, большой рынок шоу-бизнес. I love Turkey and Cappadocia. Oh, who is that? I got this in Cappadocia. <laughs> what, what happened to JK? <laughs> <laughs> He's out there, oh, okay. so you have to talk to me. Um, just so everyone knows, my name is in the alphabet, right? H I J K. It's in the alphabet, my name. And H I Hi J K. Mm -hmm. Hi J K. And, uh -huh. and how do you make seven even? <laughs> Hi J K, like us. <laughs> 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 Okay. So a, a nice man gave this to me, and I didn't. I gave him money, but really nice man wanted me to have this. Take this back to America. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, you you're not uh, tired because we have uh, maybe nine or eight question for you. You okay? Sure. How about about five more? Okay, five. Okay. <laughs> because. Now I can, with this hat on, I can answer five now. <laughs> um, unpredictability, Dimash phenomenon. Explain your words. Yes. So Dimash experiments. He likes to experiment. And that's why he just came up with Be With Me. It's a very cool song. Like I said, it's got, it's got, uh, it's, a, it's an unusual form that he does in the song. It's, it, it, it's, anyway. He's always going to experiment. So deers out there, you like one part, but you don't like the other part. He's going to do experimentation. He's going to do new stuff. And what was the word they used? Um, uh, super motivation. No, um, unpredictability. Unpredictability. So that can be, for some fans, they might, maybe don't like that, but I love it. He surprises, right? So he surprises. I made it short. <laughs> okay. Okay, now it's, uh, it's one second question. Seventeen. Mm -hmm. Patriots of the country, this question is very deep. Why do you say that Dimash's music contains many themes about war? Dimash is what he is, Dimash is not. Dissembling 
He does not adapt to the themes of show business, and here again his civic position and novelty. He is a social phenomenon. Dimash is not just a singer, he puts his own philosophy of understanding the world into world culture. I agree. I didn't say he just does war. <laughs> I agree with what that person said. He's a social phenomenon, he's a cultural phenomenon, he's a world phenomenon, he's not just a singer, he's a musician, he plays multi-instruments, he writes songs, he can move. You know, he moves well enough. He doesn't, he says, I'm not a dancer, which is smart because no one's going to be able to dance like Michael Jackson. He hit the top as a dancer, but Dimash honors him. Um, he's uh, humble. He's a nice guy, but he's got a, a, a will of steel. He's super strong. He's ambitious. Um, so I, he doesn't just write about war. He wrote war and peace. So I'm not sure exactly what they're saying. I didn't say just war. But um, I agree with what that person said. Okay. And this is the last question. Last question. What will happen in the future? Dimash has already changed world music. He added two octaves, and everyone is already out of octaves. They are already saying, I want to sing like Dimash. Has he not reached his peak yet? This is a great question. Um, no, I don't think he's reached his peak. You know, vocally... He, only, he does more than anybody already. So I think something that he may do is develop the opera because opera singers don't usually come into their own until age 30, 31, 32, 35. There's even some opera singers who started in their 40s, started. So he's really smart to be doing the pop thing right now because he can, as he's doing it, he's keeping his voice strong and he can do opera along with his what is he he does what is it called a well, crossover and um there's different names for what he's doing but he could do opera when he's 35 he could go sell out huge you know he could attract all these fans to opera who would never listen to opera so i think no he hasn't reached his peak and it's so exciting that he's 26, almost 27 only, and look what he's done. Um, so uh, there, there are some other things I was going to say. Um, can you ask the question again? Because this is that was a really good question. Uh, what will happen in the future? Dimash has already changed world music. He added two octaves, and everyone is already out of octaves. They're already saying, I want to sing like Dimash. Has he not reached his peak yet? Okay, so there we go. So Dimash has already changed music. And one, they may have heard me say this before, maybe. I said that he's changed music by what's called a two-plus octave melody. So he already has melodies that are two or more octaves. And that's very unusual. Mm -hmm. Most melodies are within an octave. But his melodies, um, like over here, each each time I close my eyes, I see you here with me. That's two octaves. Unusual. That's already changed music. That's part of his sound. Also, voice teachers around the world, their voice, their students are coming to them and saying, teach me how to sing like Dimash. And they're like, what? I don't know, you're just an opera singer. You're just a pop singer. You're just a rock singer. I want to sing opera, rock, and pop. I'm the student. You, you do that, teacher. So voice teachers are having to already adjust. Um, and already opera singers are appreciating Dimash's vocal flexibility. They can see he can sing opera, and he can sing pop, and he can sing rock, and he can sing folk, and he can sing, you know. So that's a great question because he has already changed music by the two octave uh, melody and by singing opera. The opera part is what no one has been able to do. Like Pavarotti, right? He's opera, and then he kind of did some pop stuff, but he still sang it with a big voice, you know, still sang a big voice. Dimash, his voice fits the genre, fits the style, and he's come up with his own style. It's new, and people are now doing it. Yes. He 
kids are, there's a kid who's like 12 years old who sings a Dimash song and it's good. You know, he probably had help in the studio, whatever, but it's good. It's a 12 year old, 13 year old in some, I don't know, Malta or somewhere far away. Mm -hmm. um, I think it might be Spain. Anyway, you're seeing it all over the internet. He's inspiring voice teachers to change, young singers, old singers. Maybe change the technology, technology of uh, Well, it's the technology enables people to see him, but if you mean technology of the voice box, sure. But he's showing that the voice can do more than people thought. Mm -hmm. That's what he, and that's the experiment part. When he was learning and go, with a voice teacher, by the way, he had a great voice teacher. Uh, one of the best ever. Incredible. Who still teaches, you know, he still takes lessons or whatever, meets with him. He's incredible. I think it's Marat or somebody. He's Kazakhstan. I forget his name. But Dimash didn't just want to sing like opera. He wanted to, how high can I go? And he goes up to a D8. <laughs> he goes off the piano. He, he made that, I can't just squeak. You know, I thought that the amplifier was feeding back. I'm like, what was that? <laughs> so he's experimenting to see how far he can take his voice. Now he's, can exp he's still going to do that, but he's going to experiment. How far can he go global? How far can he get into the American market? It's so exciting. Thank you for asking. Thank you. Thank you for answering me because I have too many questions for you. Maybe you're very tired. I talk too much. <laughs> no, 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 no. That you, are, you, yeah. our guest today. Yes. yes. We like uh, our conversation. Very interesting conversation. Very amazing. We enjoy it. Yes, we enjoy. It. And uh, too many people enjoy too and told, told you. Uh, hello from uh, uh, different countries and um but now in kazakhstan nighttime night very different. right yes and people tell them tell them to go to bed get some sleep uh, so yes today uh weekend i think uh, maybe uh, many people uh stay with us and see us now yes um and can you tell them to go to my channel uh пожалуйста вот он сейчас представляет показывает свой канал называется он и посмотрите пожалуйста песню Dimash inspires American to learn Russian посмотрите пожалуйста эту песню это совершенно новая песня она была представлена 27 марта на канале What's your name channel please right oh, the name of the channel oh oh yeah I'll show you la 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 вот посмотрите пожалуйста вот название Info artist JK at the Good Info Cafe Info cafe. Oh, okay, good info cafe. <laughs> so that that's this here. The good info cafe. Info cafe pop pop. The good info cafe. Okay. The good info cafe where we have talking, teaching. I teach. I do music, mm -hmm. and I do um, and I do uh, sports. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes you have to do that to the world, right? You got to whack. It. <laughs> good. So we have uh, we, we have good background too. We have beautiful flower. <laughs> uh, are they? Can you smell them? Uh, yes, of course. It's an orchid. That's orchid, big orchid. Uh, <laughs> beautiful. My favorite flower. <laughs> beautiful. Well, we can end with me playing. Um, the drum, uh, playing, uh, ah, ah. So do you want it? We'll say goodbye while I'm doing it. You can yes. just cut it off. Yes. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> you can cut it off anytime. Bye. 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 Bye.
between earth and heaven. And playing a Dimash song. Wow! Um, Your favorite. Your favorite, yes. <laughs> I don't play Dimash songs on... I'll finish it with... Um, I know what I'll finish it with. I'll finish it with... Um, I had a dream... You can cut it off any time. Okay. I had a dream of two broken wings. Of two broken wings. So this is a song I wrote. Did you listen to it? Yes, I, I uh, yes, I listened yesterday. Okay. We, because we we, uh, we we have now uh morning since morning we start the uh, live stream yes and yes yesterday I saw and listened to your three three favorite songs. Well, know that um, over here is is not mine, but I can I can sing I um two broken wings that I wrote. And then you can just fade out if you want. Okay. 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 I had a dream of two broken wings. Two broken wings. A bird can't survive if it can't fly. The bird will die. What does it mean, this broken bird dream? A broken bird dream that seems so alive. Is there a message for our lives? With two broken wings, a bird can still sing. So why can't it sing to lift up my dream? Struggling instead, it's left for dead. Along came a child so precious and wild to help by nature, though so unsure. This child nurtured the trembling bird. If only it had its two good wings, please, two good wings. The child softly cried, what should I do to make bird fly? Ooh, 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 ooh. That magical night we both took flight, took flight long ago when time stood still. <laughs> With two good wings shared, no broken will. Now I see two unbroken wings. I see you and I struggle to trust. That's because this bird is us. And we fly and we soar for the child we adore. The lion and the lamb together lie down and the small child will lead us all. Nested love, feathery from above covers me in the shadow of your wings. It's God's joy that we sing, we sing, we sing. Thank you. Dare I dream of two unbroken <laughs> wings. JK, it's been a delight. Thank you. You brightened up our day. Thank you. I think you thank, thank up, you, Jamal. I think you brighten up everybody you meet. You have that <laughs> spirit, uplifting spirit. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. I'm getting hot in this, so see. <laughs> I I was picturing you in a uh, in a play with uh, Aladdin. Yes. And you're Aladdin. Yes. Yes. I I do have a a carpet out there. It's not magic though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you, and thank you, everybody. What's uh, what are your fans called? Or we live in San Francisco fans. Thank you. Or, yes, we're in San Francisco. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Channel, channel. Yes. yes. Thank you. We'll have to do this again, JK. Yeah, because you have more questions. Absolutely. This is just part one. But my one. brain's not working anymore. This is just part one. Okay. <laughs> Send them to my channel. Put in the, uh, in I guess, of in course. the description. Uh, just for yes. me, it's a little bit of working about some subtitles. Um, I Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, Bye, -bye. Bye. 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 I don't know how to get out. I don't know if that worked. Батри, выключи, пожалуйста.